Just in case you ever wondered, how do you get all that yeast scum off of the inside of the bottle? Magnets. I've got a neodymium magnet here, and there's one inside my stainless steel scrubby. Science! I just said, yes, man, And long last, we're doing the Smashing Pumpkins tasting. We got three different beers to taste. You might be asking yourself, what's this precious? Just ignore that. That's nothing. Unless you want to watch an upcoming video. If you do, hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon right next to it so you can get notified when I post new content for whatever this weird thing happens to be. Fermenting in a pumpkin. Just a refresher, we've got the smashing pumpkins with toasted seeds, with malted toasted seeds, with no seeds. So let's give them all a taste and see what's going on. Oh boy. That didn't carbonate. That one did. No idea what's going on there. A little pressure in that one. This one's carb, it's just not very much. So the aroma on all of these is pretty close, even on this flat one. Um, got a little bit of an allergy thing going on, so I'm not super accurate, but between the seeds and the no seeds, I'm not really picking up anything on the aroma, but again, that could be my sniffer. But it's uh, it's got a a good amount of malt forwardness in the character. There's a little bit of a fruity note, and I, I'm assuming that's from the pumpkin. There's a tiny hint of the spice. They all smell good. Let's go ahead and taste the flat one. Despite being flat, it's actually really good. I weighed out the bottling sugar to make sure that uh, they all got exactly the same amount, and then mixed it with water, and then mixed it in the bottling bucket. The flavor is pretty good. This one is the toasted seeds. I can taste a little bit of that, um, a little bit of uh, the bitterness from the uh, toast, but you know, underneath the hops, it's interesting. Let's see if the carbonation makes a difference. A lot, a lot of difference. That's really good. So this one is the toasted malted seeds. There's a little bit of a nutty character to it. I am tasting malt sweetness, but there's something else. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much about it. Is it good? Yes. And this one's no seeds. That one's good, but there's a, di a distinct difference between no seeds and seeds. I think whether you malt the seeds or not, definitely add them because they do add another layer. This one's a a good beer. I enjoy it, but these two are better. There's a little bit of a nuttiness and an earthiness to these two that you don't get with this one. I I don't know that I necessarily think there's much difference since this one's not carved. It's kind of hard to tell. I could have screwed up my sommelier or there could have been a bad, uh, bad grommet on the bottle. It's hard to say. So I definitely prefer the ones with seeds to the one without. Now here's the one thing I'll say on this recipe. The pumpkin spice is too light. So double everything on the spice, and I think it'll be a lot more forward. Before these finished brewing, uh, before these were bottle conditioned, I could still taste some of that, uh, that spiciness. I can kind of get it in there, but not very much. Yeah, I would definitely go ahead and double the spices, and you're gonna end up being able to tell that it's in there, because right now I'm having to search for the flavor. I taste the seeds more than I taste the spice. No seeds, good beer. It's a good honey brown uh, honey brown ale. I'm not really getting any pumpkin in any of them. Uh, it's not like eating a pumpkin pie or anything like that. Okay, I'm an, I'm an idiot. Uh, apparently, uh, Mrs. Board is gonna have to do the tastings from now on. So, here's the problem. I have the brewing channel and she has the amazing taster. She <laughs> she picked up stuff that I couldn't even detect. I don't know if it's my allergies or if I'm just an idiot. But let's get, let's do this a little bit. Let's do a little bit more. Hang on. 
Now keep in mind, Mrs. Board does not drink beer. It's never something she says, oh, hey, can I have a beer? No, that's like never the cider. She likes the cider and she likes the Applejack. Mm -hmm. So she has fantastic taste. Also, she loves me. So <laughs> I think we've got that solved. But she's obviously able to pick up stuff that I just can't get. So what, what was your observation when you tasted this one? It's good. It tasted like pumpkin. It tasted like pumpkin. I didn't get pumpkin. I don't know why, but I didn't. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin beer. Pumpkin and beer. Like I just had a bite of pumpkin pie and a drink of beer. Instead. I am so sorry for letting you guys down. It's possible that every tasting I've ever done has just been skewed beyond belief because <laughs> <laughs> my tongue is broken. I don't know. <laughs> Like, how's that cheeseburger? Oh, it tastes great. It could taste like a cow pie in between <laughs> bread, and I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, because you're way over there. I need I need my wife to tell me whether or not something tastes good. I don't know. This one is... This one has no seeds in it. And it's, the, it's very sharp, but it doesn't taste as much. Very sharp, doesn't taste as good. <laughs> okay, that's the no seeds one malted toasted seeds. That's the best one. This is the best one. Try this one. That's the plain toasted seeds. It's flat, so it's yeah, kind of hard to really, tell. It's really flat. Yeah. <laughs> Here, try this. It's disgusting. <laughs> you ever notice that uh, when somebody says, oh, oh, this is horrible. Taste it. Why? Why would I want to taste it? Don't hand that to me. <laughs> off. He says, tasting it again. Middle one, I'm, winner. Middle one is definitely the winner. Um, I have no idea if this one would come out good, probably based on this one, but since it's flat, we really don't know. We can't sign off on that one, but I can definitely sign off on malting your seeds for a couple of days, then toasting them, then adding them to the beer. So try that. All right. <laughs> what a roller coaster this has been. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lesson learned. I'm always going to get her opinion <laughs> before I publish a video. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, <laughs> I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, do me a favor. Hit the like button. really helps out the channel. Again, subscribe if you want to see what the hell this is going to be. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section down below. I'll go ahead and put the modified recipe for this down in the description with any pertinent links for stuff I used. Um, and when I say modified, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the amount of spice so you don't have to like try to remember what I said or anything, it'll be in there. And I'll go ahead and change the spice level in the recipe for the original video. Uh, if you didn't see the original video of me making the beer, check the link right up here, and uh, <clears throat> that will uh, that'll show you how I made the beer. Just keep in mind, double the spices. All right, thanks for watching. Talk at you later. <laughs>